Hey, hey, party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com, and today I'm super excited to show you the brand new Rampant VHS Effect Premiere Pro template. Yep, that's right. It's a template designed to turn your beautiful high-definition footage into nasty VHS look. And it's that simple. You just put your footage in, and you spit the VHS out. All right. So why did we make this? Well, I want to introduce you to our good friend, Rose Fredrickson. If you do not follow her on YouTube... You need to. It's that simple. She's awesome. She's a great artist. And she called us up and challenged us a long time ago, almost a year ago, to create a vintage film look and a VHS look. She said that she didn't have a, uh, any native tools in her Premiere Pro to give her the look that she very specifically researched. She sent us all kinds of uh, clips and, and things to look at. So I, I, you know, I sat down and I identified everything she was looking for and I started creating this thing. And it took a while and we were in the middle of other projects. So I'm sorry it took so long, Rose, but thank you so, so much for challenging us to do this because now we have it and we're happy. And of course, uh, if you uh, contact us and we do a project, you're more than welcome to uh, have it 100% for free because you gave us the uh, project to do. So anyway, follow Rose, she's amazing. All right, let's go to our finder here. Um, yeah, on the Mac, obviously it'd be Windows Explorer on the PC, right? Okay, so what do we do here? Well, when you unzip the file, you're gonna get the Premiere Pro project file, which is this, obviously you can't do anything without it. And then you're gonna get a ton of stuff. This is not like our other, uh, our other templates. This, there's a lot of rampant in here that you get absolutely free included with the template. So you've got uh, color noise from uh, our film and our film noise and grain uh, volume, which is a lot of fun. So you get a couple color noise uh, elements. You get a ton of analog, real analog distortion uh, that we that we shot in our studio um, as overlays. Of course, you've got some scan lines. Uh, you've got a video placeholder. And just like every other template, you've got our amazing uh, pr Premiere template installation PDF file. This tells you to unzip the file, tells you what things are, are compatible with, tells you what fonts we use, like this is our favorite VHS font. And of course, if you're having any questions or problems or, or suggestions, go ahead and click this right here, which will fill out a support ticket, or you can give us a call and talk to us. We love each and every one of you, so any way you want to communicate, I'm down, and so is Final Cut stuff. Okay, so before we open up the uh, the Premiere Pro template, go ahead and right-click on it if you're on the Mac and hit Duplicate. And if on the PC, hit Copy and Paste or hit Duplicate. Why? Because the second you make a single change and you hit Save, it will never go back to the way it was. So if you want some kind of a default setting and you want to go back to the way it was, make a copy. Otherwise, sorry. All right, so let's open up Premiere Pro. And this is Premiere Pro CC 2014. This project is 20, CC 2014, 2015, and, 20, and 2017 compatible. There is no 2016. So 2014, 2015, and 2017 compatible. If you're using a version of Premiere that's earlier than CC 2014, like CC or CS4, CS5, CS6, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. It doesn't work with that. These particular effects only work with technology that's implemented in CC 2014 and later. Okay. This is not like any other uh, template that we've ever used, uh, we've ever created. This is an effects template, so it's designed to, spit, to put your video in and spit out an effect. You're not going to make changes, you're not going to make an intro. This is specifically just to make a, v a VHS effect and spit it out. So first thing we need to do is, is grab some video. And I'm going to go ahead and twirl down, insert your video here. It's pretty simple here in the project window. Double click on your video, and you've got this beautiful placeholder, right? You can turn that off and drag Shutterstock right on top cool i get most of my stock footage from shutterstock both for rampant and for my client work um they don't pay me they don't give me footage i'm just a customer who absolutely loves their stuff okay so rolling back i've now going back to our vfx uh, vhs effects builder if i scroll and roll you've got the regular shot no problem okay so let's go through all of these different effects you can have because there's literally hundreds and hundreds of combinations that you can use to make your own effects look so starting at the very first effect layer, it says split guns. I'll turn that on. And as you can see right here, there's some channel separation. So if I roll back and hit play, you can definitely see some channel separation. So that's crucial for making VHS. I'm going to skip this layer right now. That's a text layer. We'll go back to it. The next effect will be ghosting. I'll turn that on. And I noticed that uh, there's a lot of ghosting uh, effects in VHS. So that's cool. Right here is video noise. And this is from our rampant uh, film and video noise and grain volume. So if you roll that back, you can see actual video noise. If I go to 100% here, look at that. That's beautiful, real video noise. I know that sounds ridiculous, but check it. Straight up, real video noise. Not generated, but actually uh, created in the studio. All right. Our overlays, that's the obvious one. That's from our style effects library where you see all kinds of actual VHS elements in our distortion toolkit. So that's awesome. Let me uh, zoom out here. Roll it back. 
Very cool. At the bottom here, it says bottom frame distortion. If I roll that back and I hit play, you can see a little bit of frame distortion at the bottom, which is common in VHS. Turn that off. There's this layer called image distortion. I'll turn it on and roll it back. All right, so as you can see, there's some distortion going on right here. We can, I'll zoom in and roll it back here. And you can see the image definitely distorting, see? Cool, cool, cool. All right, some distortion, turn that off. The next effect, uh, soften the image. I've noticed that the majority of uh, VHS footage is not sharp, so we could put a little soften on there. And then of course, uh, you don't have a lot of saturation in VHS as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn DSAT on, that's cool. And then of course, a little bit of contrast as well. And finally, scan lines, and I'll zoom in. Zoom in even more. Very cool, right? Okay. Strangely enough, uh, for the majority of the people who tested this uh, product out, uh, this is as far as they got. And that's fine. If this works for you, if you're just turning layers on, turning effects on, so I'll turn on scan lines, I'll turn on image con contrast, I'll turn on some desaturation, maybe soften the image. What else? I'll split the guns and maybe add some overlays, right? So you just pick and choose what you want. So that's pretty cool. If that's what you're looking for, that's great. But what if you want more power? You know, what if you're like, I want more configuration than just turning things on and off, right? Well, I'm right there with you. That's one of the reasons why this thing took me so long to build is I really wanted this to be as beefy as possible without just being like, okay, VHS. You know, that's not, not really how we roll here. So let's go ahead and turn all of this off real quick. And let's take a look at some options. That's right, when you highlight a layer and you turn it on, the effects happen, right? But what happens if you double click on that layer? Oh, what is this? You find yourself with more options. We're using Split Guns 2. What? Yes, so Split Guns 1 is very subtle, as you can see. Just a little bit of split, right? Split Guns 2, much more, and Split Guns 3, not as much, right? So they're all slightly different. So you pick the kind of split gun that you want to use and you move on. So go back to the builder. Now turn split guns on, right? That's what you picked. Okay. Okay, with ghosting, just go over here to effects controls and right here you've got the blend mode and the opacity. Here's where your options are for ghosting. Go ahead and turn it on and you can increase the ghosting like that. You can decrease the ghosting like whoa, right? You can also change the blending. Maybe the shot you're looking at would be better as an overlay or as a soft light, right? Who knows? But that's how you update ghosting. Moving on, video noise. Let's go ahead and double click on video noise. And this reveals one of two noise items. So this is a 12,800 ISO, and now I'm switching it out with a 5,000 ISO. So if you want slightly less uh, video noise, you can handle that. You can also go here into your opacity and lower your opacity, or you can do that in the effects builder as well. Go to video noise, Go up to effects controls and then change your opacity. Right now it's set to 80% in soft light. Could totally drop that down even more. Let's see. So let's update. So you can really tweak this as much as you want, right? All right. Overlays. This is the most fun. Turn it on. Double click on it. You get all kinds of fun stuff. Look at this. We're using video layer five. That's this one. But what if I want to use this one instead? Ooh, right? What if I'm like, well, let's try this one. You just keep auditioning these until you like what you see. Very cool. Bottom frame distortion has all of the same kinds of layers as the previous one with the overlays, which this is only going to be put on the bottom of the frame, right? So again, just double click and have fun. Now these ones that aren't nested comps, like image distortion, soft image, VHS color and desat, image contrast, these you tweak here in the effects controls. Dial down the opacity maybe. Um, the other great thing is there's options. There's light distortion, medium distortion, and heavy distortion. I had it set to medium, but now it's set to heavy. Let's turn that on. Go ahead and render it out. 
And as you can see, that is a really huge distortion there. You know what I'm saying? So zoom in here. You can see some serious tearing of the video, right? That's what you want. Okay. Same with softened image. You can add more blur. You can change the blur dimensions. You're going to uh, want to go ahead and, and image contrast, really only tweak the opacity or the blend mode or leave it as is. And then, of course, in scan lines right here, this is just like all of our other uh, overlay elements. You just double click and you get to pick one. Right now we're using scan line one, but we can switch to scan line two and turn on scan lines and see, there you go. It's an update. So you've got in all of these, you've got options. You can pick your split guns. You can pick your amount of ghosting. You can pick your amount of video noise or what kind of video noise. You can pick all kinds of overlays, both for the main screen and the bottom of the frame. You can pick distortion of either light, medium, or heavy, and then lower the opacity if you want. You soften the image. Again, just tweaking that. VHS desat, once again. Image contrast, again and then scan lines, picking your scan line. So basically there are hundreds of options. So you pick and choose and mix and match and to, uh, to build whatever you want. Now I built this project on the dumpiest Mac I could find. My Mac is ancient. It's probably older than I am. And I wanted to make sure that it could run this thing. So uh, when you're turning on all these layers, if you've got a slower machine, it's still working. Just go ahead and either lower your resolution while you're working like so, right? Or if you don't want to do that, go ahead and just work on things uh, one at a time and then when you're ready to finally uh, export just go to your VFX, VHS effects builder turn them all on and then export right so that's it that's really simple of course I told you I promised you we would do some text so let's go ahead and turn on the text layer I'm using that uh, VHS text uh, font that I love that, that's in the PDF file so you, you know check out our PDF you'll get it but basically you just double click on the text um, and um, you just double click on it one more time and one more time again if you want to click on it through the timeline and then just change it to whatever you want, right? Click OK. Or you can just twirl down to two over here and double click on your text. Like, and that's how I got you there before. Or double click on the actual title, your text, and you are good to go. That's it. I mean, mix and match and have fun. There is no proper workflow to this. This is basically an effects builder. You put as much or as little as you want, and then you just go to File. You highlight your effects builder, and you go to File export media pick your settings and hit export and you are done all right for this template or any other premiere pro template please go to premiere templates.net that's premiere templates.net once again i'm sean mullen for rampant thanks for watching